Hey guys, I'm Becky from Bama, and today we're going to be talking about how you can start your own Funko Pop collection. Stay tuned to the very end and I'll tell you how you can win one of your very own from this channel. So the first thing you need to know before you start collecting Funko Pops is what is a Funko Pop? Maybe you've seen them in the store or you've heard about them from a friend but you're not really sure what they're all about. A Funko Pop is a pop culture vinyl figure. So they have them for movies, they have them for video games, TV shows, comic books. There are Funko Pops of popular musicians, politicians, wrestlers, pretty much anything you can think of that relates to pop culture, they've made a Funko Pop out of it. They even have custom made Funko Pops that people sell on Etsy that we'll talk more about later if you can't find the Funko Pop that you want. So where should you buy your Funko Pops? Well there are a few options. First of all you can always go to Amazon. Amazon has all the Funko Pops. You can search for them. It's pretty easy. If you have Prime you get two-day shipping for free. Get it mailed to your house. That's no fun. If you are a nerd and you're into nerd culture you probably enjoy the treasure hunt aspect of collecting as much as you do owning the collection. So let's talk about places you can actually go. Now I have bought them on Amazon. Sometimes I need one. I can't find it. I go to Amazon. But it's more fun to find them out in the wild. So let's talk about some of the places you can go. First you've got your big box stores. You've got your Walmarts and your Targets. And now these are places where if I was going to buy groceries or if I was going to pick up some clothes or something and I was already in the store, I might stop by and check the Funko Pops and see if they had one that I needed. But these aren't really the places where you really want to try to find Funko Pops. I actually went and filmed a little video in Target and Walmart yesterday, so watch this and you'll see what I mean. We're in the toy section at Target and you'll see they've got this nice little end cap that's got Funko Pops on it and they'll usually have some of the popular ones like they've got Moana over here, Doctor Strange, Star Wars, they've got some of the plush, Ghostbusters, but this isn't where you really go to find Funko Pops in Target. We have to go back to electronics for that. So we are at Target right now and you can look in the toy section and the toy section usually they have like a little end cap. Of Funko Pops but if you go back to the electronics they have all this stuff they have the t-shirts the pocket pops they have coffee mugs blind boxes all kind of stuff and they'll have like the Marvel the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Star Wars some Disney and it's all in the electronics section still making Funko Pop video but I just found an open can of Easy Cheese in the toy section. I've got to stop getting distracted. What is wrong with people? So one thing that my sister-in-law is really into right now is collecting these different Batman Pops. And look at this, it's the little pocket pops, but they're all different colored little Batmans, so that's really cool. Because I feel like we're on some weird scavenger hunt now, and I'm looking for Funko Pops, but I keep getting distracted, I just wanted you all to see that we have now found this thing covered in the easy cheese. I don't, all the stories about Walmart, they're true. They're true. I don't know what's going on here. I'm scared, get me out of here. Okay, our quest through Walmart has been rewarded. In the toy section, there is a very small number, you can see them right there, of Funko Pops. There's some at the very front entrance with all the like card games and nerd blind boxes and stuff that our family is kind of into but if you want the bigger selection in Walmart come to the toy section and they're on one of the boy aisles with all the like Star Wars and stuff but honestly Walmart, Target, these are not the places to get Funko Pops. It's always good if you're shopping here just to check anyway just to see if they might have something that you need. This isn't where you come to get Funko Pops. Now the other option is bookstores. You have places like Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, Second and Charles, which is kind of 
more than a bookstore. It's a pop culture store, really, I guess. They've got video games. They've got music. They've got comic books. It's a pretty cool place. It's actually my favorite place to buy Funko Pops is Second and Charles. But these places have a lot wider selection, and they cater to the audience that is really interested in Funko Pops. So you'll be able to go to the wall of Funko Pops in a place like that and find what you're looking for much easier. So if you have a Books A Million in your town or a Barnes & Noble, or if you're one of the lucky people that has a second in Charles, I highly recommend you check those out. Now the third way that you can get your Funko Pops is through a monthly subscription box. If you've got a loot crate that you get every month, those are really awesome, or Marvel Collector's Core. Um, DC has something similar. I think it's like Legion of Heroes or something like that. I'm not real sure. I didn't do the DC. I'm more of a Marvel girl. But there are several monthly subscription boxes. Um, I think Nerd Block is another one that you can look into. And I know with like the Marvel Collector's Core, the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty, and the DC Legion of Heroes. It may not be Legion of Heroes, but I'll put links down in the bottom. Check the bottom and I'll put links for all the subscription boxes. But they have Funko Pops every month. And a lot of times they'll have the accessories too, like either the pins where it's like a little miniature Funko Pop on the end of a pin, or the coffee mugs, t-shirts. I know that most of those come with the t-shirts. And just all kind of like pocket pops, all the accessories. So if you are into nerd swag, you like video game gear, you like nerdy TV show gear, you're into Super Hulock, I would highly recommend a Loot Crate or a Nerd Blog or something like that because you get really good surprises and it's more of a treasure hunt because you don't know what you're getting. Actually, my very first Funko Pop was Joker Batman and I got him in a Loot Crate and that's where I heard about Funko Pops for the first time. I'd never heard of one and I got one in my Loot Crate and I thought, what is this cute little thing? It makes me happy. So I got one and it started an obsession and now I have over a hundred. And I have some of the accessories too. So one good thing though is it's not an expensive hobby. If you buy 20 of them a week, it could be an expensive hobby, but these things are usually like less than $10. If you find one at Walmart or at Target, it's usually about $8.99, something like that. If you find it at Hot Topic, which is another great place to get it, Hot Topic, Books A Million, someplace like that, they're closer to the $10 range. Some of the ones that are kind of rare, you can end up actually paying a lot of money for. Some of the ones, especially for musicians, they are a little more expensive and you have to go on Amazon or eBay and you might find that those cost a little more money. But generally, for $10, you can get a Funko Pop. So it's a pretty good, inexpensive collection for somebody that wants to collect things but doesn't really have a lot of money to collect something very expensive. The other thing is the custom pops. I told you we'd talk more about those later. The custom pops are where somebody buys a regular pop and they customize it to be a specific character. So you'll see a lot of people will look for ones that are just kind of somebody in a t-shirt and jeans and they'll get them and they'll paint them and I've seen some that look really amazing. They are just a piece of art. So you can go on Etsy and check out the custom Funkos and I'll put a link to Etsy down here too and you could probably find some really really cool ones on there for whatever it is you're interested in. So I would suggest if you're looking for something specific, say somebody's having a birthday and you know that they're really really into this particular character, you know they love Sailor Moon and any Sailor Moon stuff that they get is just going to be like the best gift ever. You can go to the Funko website see if they have a Sailor Moon, spoiler alert, they do, and then if they didn't, you could go to Etsy and put in custom Funko Pop Sailor Moon and see what the options are. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that people are making them different and making them works of art, and I'm not that artistic, but I would love to see if you have made a custom Funko Pop, tag this video in it and let me watch it because I think that would be really, really, really cool. Now part of being in a nerd family is that we're all kind of nerdy, so now even my children have gotten into collecting. So all of my kids, including my three-year-old, have their own Funko Pops. The girls have Disney princesses and the Disney animals, and my son Malik, he's got 
superheroes, lots of comic book characters, and so does Brooks. Brooks, the three-year-old, he's got like Hulk and some like that. And then my oldest, who definitely has caught the collecting gene and the nerdiness gene, he's got almost as many as I have. He has almost 100 Funko Pops, and he's got a lot of Harry Potter. He's got Back to the Future with the Funko Ride. And some of the Funko Pops come with something called Funko Rides, which is where they actually have like the Ghostbusters car, or like my son's got the DeLorean from Back to the Future. And those are really awesome. I'm waiting for them to make the Impala from Supernatural. If they make the Impala, I'm getting it. So do you hear me, Funko? Make the Impala. I will buy it. They've got like the train, the Hogwarts Express from Harry Potter. So those are pretty cool. Some of the other accessories you can get are they've got pocket pops that are like keychains, and it's basically just a tiny little Funko Pop on a keychain. I am terrible about breaking keychains, and so is my husband. We if we put them in our pocket or throw them in our jacket or something, they always end up broken. So what I've actually done is I have a big carabiner and I keep all of my Funko Pop keychains on this one carabiner and I throw it in my purse. And it's a good conversation piece if I'm like showing it to somebody or sometimes if I am waiting in line or I'm in a bad mood or something like that, I just take it out and look at it and it makes me happy. That's what I really like about the Funko Pops is that they make me happy. Now, you'll hear a lot of people collect them because they may go up in value, like the way people collected Beanie Babies or stamps or coins. And so the big question when you're starting a collection is keep it in the box or unbox it. Do you want to keep it in the box, keep it pristine so that one day it's worth a lot of money? Or do you want to take it out and play with it? I buy them because they make me happy and because I love them and I can't play with them in the box. So I take them out of the box. This one is only in the box because it's a gift and I'm going to be giving it to somebody. This one, this one is out because I love him and he sits on my shelf. Although I have to say, this is Sherlock for those of you who don't know. Hey Sherlock, he broke my heart yesterday. Sherlock, why did you do that to me? Did y'all watch Sherlock? Did y'all watch the first episode of the new series? I'm not going to give any spoilers because I'm not that person. I won't ruin shows for you, but man, if you haven't watched it, you need to go watch it. So I've got Sherlock and then I've got Moriarty and John also over there. So I've got my whole little Sherlock set. I would love to have, me and my sister-in-law have talked about, we would love to have a big bookshelf decorated kind of like a dollhouse, except instead of it being different rooms in a house, each of the little compartments would be like a diorama for that group of characters. So I would have like the little Sherlock bedroom with the wallpaper and the smiley face on it with all my Sherlock characters. And then maybe have a room that's like for my supernatural characters and have it like the woods in the background, like it's purgatory or something. And maybe have like a Hogwarts little room for the Harry Potter figures. I don't know, I think it would be awesome to just have something like that. I would love to have just a big custom shelf, although then also I would probably be really worried that my three-year-old would come and just think it was a big dollhouse and play with them all and get them all mixed up. And I have a little touch of OCD, so when they get mixed up and when I've got Alice in Wonderland over here with Star Trek The Next Generation, it kind of makes me a little... Right now I've got all my Funko Pops stored on a tall bookshelf and they're all on the very top or on the first shelf down from the top. And I like them there because I can keep them in order and no one knocks them over and my three-year-old doesn't run off with them and break them and so that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of variety. So it's one of those things where if you're collecting you're not going to get bored. You can get different sizes, you can get different genres, you can get different TV shows that you like, different movies. I have a little section of mine that's Quentin Tarantino movie characters. I've got three characters from Pulp Fiction, and then I've got The Bride from Kill Bill, and they're like all together. So it's really kind of cool. Another thing that I think is interesting to note, in our family at least, is we try not to double up. So when I'm buying a Funko Pop for myself, if my son already has it, I won't buy that one. I'll buy a different one. Or my sister-in-law, when my sister-in-law goes to buy a new Funko Pop, sometimes she'll text me and say, hey, do we have this one? And she means between me and all the kids and her, do we have this one already? So we don't double up. We have like our individual collections and then like a family collection that is like the nerd family collection of Funko Pops. So that's pretty cool. 
So just a quick run through of some of the different Funko Pops that I have. I collect Supernatural Funko Pops. I collect Sherlock Funko Pops, Doctor Who Funko Pops, Quentin Tarantino movie characters, WWF Funko Pops. I collect Disney, Star Trek, Star Wars, all the star things. Marvel is my biggest collection right now. I've got more Marvel Funko Pops than anything. Um, X-Files, gamer ones, and then I just have some random ones too. I have just like Columbia from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. She's just like a random one that I have. I don't have anybody else from that. So we have the sets that I'm trying to collect all of those in those sets. And then I have just random ones. The next ones that I would like to start collecting are the Stranger Things Funko Pops. So I really want the 11 Funko Pop. It's her with her nose bleeding and she's in the pink dress and she's holding a box of Eggo waffles and it's just the cutest thing ever so I really would like to get the 11 Funko Pop and that's the next one on my list. So I told you when we started this video I would tell you how you could win your very own Funko Pop maybe to add to your collection or to be the very first one that starts your collection. So the way that you can do that is when I get to 100 subscribers I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to make a video talking about the giveaway and I'm going to give away a Funko Pop. So to be entered, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, Becky from Bama, hit the subscribe button, and when I make the video about the giveaway, you just have to leave a comment on the video. That's the only two things you have to do. Pretty easy. So do that, get me to 100 subscribers, and we're going to give away a Funko Pop. So in the comments, let me know, what's your favorite Funko Pop? How many do you have? Do you want to start a collection? How do you feel about Funko Pops? Leave it in the comments. I would love to learn about your collections. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome and help me out tremendously. And if you would like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you soon. Thanks. So, I told you when we started this video that I would tell you how do you strike that. You're walking around Walmart to make video for my Funko Pop video, and I saw this.